hey guys welcome to tino tech hacks if today is your first time of meeting us on this channel don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share with your friends and don't forget to like today i'm going to introduce you to computer as a novice if today is your first time you want to start learning computing in 2024 this is your channel i'm going to take you from scratch i will teach you everything you need to know about computers i will introduce you to windows i will introduce you to microsoft word i will introduce you to microsoft excel powerpoint presentation any other thing that you need to know as we go further i will also be teaching you how to build a website how to write codes how to program anything in it in computing that you can learn that will give you a space in the job market i am here to take you through so let us begin today by talking about computers introduction to computing if it's your first time of hearing the word computers don't be alarmed but i know in this 21st century everybody knows about computers so just that some people have seen it they've never touched it some people have touched it they've never used it some people only use it to play games others use it to watch movies and videos but when you give them a job which is related to computing or it they have zero knowledge or basic nothing so today if you are one of those people or such people who face problems in using computers I am going to introduce you introduction to computers computer basics types of computers first of all what is a computer somebody will ask you what is a computer a computer is a device that follows instructions that we give to it in order to execute a job or a task there are many tasks that the computer can take you can ask the computer to play a movie you can ask the computer to show you some games to play a song or you can use it to create document you can use it to create an email you can use it to browse the internet anything that you ask the computer to do we call it a task so it is a device that receives instructions processes them and then give us feedback that is the job of a computer now let us look at the types of computers there are several types of computers including personal computers that's what we call the pcs nowadays we have the laptops we have the tablets and smartphones each of these computers has its own unique features and capabilities let us look at the basic function of a computer the basic function of a computer. Computers perform several basic functions, including data processing, data storage, and communication. They can perform complex calculations, store large amounts of data, and connect to other computers or devices to share information. So, computers process data, they store data, and they also help us to connect with other people around the world to share resources, information. That's it. Let us look at the basic parts of the computer. Basic parts of the computer. So, we have input and output devices input and output devices input devices are used to enter instructions into the computer such as keyboards mice and touch screens so your smartphone is an input device if you have a smartphone the screen of your smartphone is a touch screen so it is an input device the mouse that we use is also an input device. Then uh, the keyboard that we use to enter data into the computer is also an input 
device. When we look on the pictures, we can see a lot of input devices here. Yeah, we have the mouse, we have the touch pen, or the stylus. People call it, call it S pen. We also have different forms of keyboards here. We have the multimedia keyboards. We also have some keyboards that we use for playing music. The piano, it's also an input device. We have some touch screens here and many others. They are all called input devices. Output devices. What is an output device? Output devices display or present the results of computer processing such as monitors, printers, and speakers. All right. So let's look at some output devices here. We can see a lot of screens here. Yeah. We also have projectors. We have speakers. We have printers. They are all forms of output devices. Okay. Components of the computer. The components of a computer include the central processing unit. That is the CPU, memory, storage devices, input devices, and output devices. These components work together to perform various tasks that we give to the computer. Operating system. Operating systems are softwares that manage the computer's hardware and software resources. They provide a user interface and allow users to run applications and perform tasks on their computers. So every computer that doesn't have an operating system is not a computer. That is basically a trash can or a box or an empty pocket of wires. Every computer needs an operating system. The operating system is what runs the computer. It is the basic software, the mother software that runs on the computer. So that when you ask the computer to execute a point or something for you, this particular operating system is going to do that job for you. Okay. So we have different types of operating systems. We're going to talk about all the different types of operating systems in our next lesson computer networks computer networks play a crucial role in allowing computers to communicate and share resources they can be categorized into two main types local area networks that's the LAN, and wide area networks that's the ones lands are typically used within a small geographical area such as an office building or a school campus whilst one covers large geographical area and can connect multiple lands across different locations. To establish and maintain network connections, various network protocols and devices are used. Networking protocols define the rules and procedures for communication between devices in a network. Ethernet and Wi-Fi and modems to establish and maintain network connections various networking protocols and devices are used networking protocols define the rules and procedures for communication between devices in a network some commonly used protocols include tcp stroke ip ethernet and wi-fi networking devices such as routers switches and modems are responsible for directing and managing traffic so when we look at this picture you're gonna see that there are different laptops here they are connected on a network because the particular network they are connected to is a Wi-Fi you don't have an eye to see but when we start with networking you are going to see how the protocols are laid Software applications refers to programs and applications that run on a computer. There are different types of software, such as operating system, productivity software, and entertainment. Applications are specific programs designed for a particular task or function. 
so when we get to that point we are going to discuss or work with different forms of applications for you to know how they work data storage data storage involves storing and retrieving data on a computer this can be done using various storage devices such as hard disk drive that is hdds then solid state drive that is ssds and cloud storage data can be stored in different formats such as files database all multimedia types of data storage so we have the story device each description is here so when you see here we have a hard disk drive the hard the hard disk drive it uses magnetic storage to store and retrieve data provide large storage capacity and is commonly used in desktop computers and servers solid state drive that is the ssd uses flash memory to store and retrieve data provide faster data access and commonly used in laptops tablets and smartphones the last one is the cloud storage the cloud storage is the biggest thing that has replaced all the two or other forms of storage mediums stores data on remote servers accessible via the internet provides scalable storage options and allow for easy access and sharing of data computer security what is computer security computer security refers to the protection of computer systems and data from unauthorized access use disclosure disruption modification or distraction it involves implementing security measures to safeguard against various threats security measures so when we talk of security basically we are talking of locking something protecting it from being attacked or stolen or broken by other people who don't have access or who are not authorized to have access to it some of the security measures that we use in computers include firewalls firewalls protect against unauthorized access and filters network traffic so anything that is coming into the computer the firewall is there to filter it if it is not a good thing it prevents it from entering your computer then we also have antivirus software they detect and remove malware and viruses so any malware that comes onto your computer or any virus that comes onto your computer to distract or disrupt the files this antivirus software when it's installed in your computer will make sure that this particular virus or malware detected and taken off your computer the last one we will talk about is encryption it convert data into a secret code to prevent unauthorized access so when we scramble data that people cannot have access or even when they have access they can never read meaning into the data we call it encryption so most encryptions are in the form of passwords and security codes so if you have your phone and you put a password or a pattern on it that is an encryption thank you for today for joining us in our next meeting i will take you into the application of softwares on the computer and basically we will start learning about microsoft word thank you for today see you another time bye bye ciao